I'm stating the obvious here, but Sam Bankman-Fried and FTX is obviously in a lot of trouble. The situation is still developing and we're gonna have to wait and see how all of this plays out, but things does not look good. Not only did they file obviously for bankruptcy, but there's also a lot of extensive investigations going on at the moment and it does look like there might even be some criminal charges levied against him and also maybe even a few other insiders as well. Now not only is the FTX exchange completely bankrupt but they also owe a lot of people a lot of money. It is being reported that they owe over 3 billion dollars to 50 of its top creditors and I don't think that those people are ever going to get their money back. Business Insider is reporting that 50 of FTX largest creditors are customers and that the single biggest creditor is owed more than 226 million dollars according to a satellite a filing that was done as part of the bankruptcy and on top of that the second largest creditor is also owed over 200 million while there is another eight more creditors that is owed more than 100 million dollars each and collectively FTX owes about 1.4 billion to its top 10 creditors and that is just according to the latest redacted list. Now obviously Sam Bankman Free did step down as the CEO once the news broke in terms of what was actually going on behind the scenes and FTX new CEO John J. Ray is now responsible for overseeing the company going forward. Now there is no more company to oversee so this new CEO's responsibility is simply going to be to try and figure out what happened and also see if he's going to be able to at least pay some of the investors back. Now the CEO is at least a little bit experienced. He was previously the person who oversaw a bankruptcy of Enron in 2001 and even he said that he has never seen anything like FTX ever in his life. He said that there is a complete failure of corporate control and such an incomplete absence of trustworthy financial information. Now knowing what we know now I don't think those words comes as too much of a surprise. The new CEO also said that he instructed the team at FTX debitors to prioritize the preservation of franchise value to the best of their abilities under these difficult circumstances. Now again he's going to be up against it. I don't know how much of this money is actually going to be retrieved but it does sound like number one even though Sam Bankman Free did say that his main priority is going to be to pay back the individual investors first. It does seem like this new CEO has a bit of a different priority and that seems to be paying the creditors back first and once they have paid the creditors back I don't know how much money is going to to be left for the individual investor. It seems like at this point it's pretty much going to be a lost cause. If you are a person who invested in the exchange, it doesn't seem likely that there's going to be a way for you to get your money back, but hopefully there is a way that you can. Now furthermore, the bankruptcy filings has also showed that FTX crypto holdings is just worth $659,000 and that is way below what Sam originally said it was worth. Everybody knows knew that he was taking the money and funneling it through to shit coins and those things are just not worth anything. So he takes billions of dollars, puts it in those coins, those coins lose its value and once it has lost its value there's no way for him to pay back his investors and that is something that he's been doing for quite some time now. Now Business Insider also says here that clues were building that the internal numbers were going to be awful given that the FTX founder Sam Bankman free caveated multiple multiple tweet storms about the finance of FTX and he would usually just use words like approximate and to the best of my knowledge and treat all of these numbers as rough. Obviously when a person is speaking about their finances and telling you how much everything is worth and they are giving you those type of buzzwords, it is oftentimes a very clear indicator that things might not be as above board as you would like it to be. FTX was ran by a bunch of very very inexperienced people that clearly did not know what they were doing and it seems like money was also intentionally being funneled through to other financial opportunities which is obviously illegal to do. I've seen a lot of prominent people in the media trying to make excuses saying that Sam is simply a young inexperienced person that was in way over his head, that he never had any bad intent and that he only mismanaged the company because he didn't fully understand what he was doing.
Now that is all good and well but some of the decisions that was made seems to be clearly intentional. It is very hard to make the mistakes that he has made and although that is obviously all just alleged and we don't have any proof of it, one thing that we now do know is that funds was mismanaged and these people are not going to get their money back and that is a really really unfortunate situation especially for the younger individual investor who put a lot of trust in the company and are now paying the price for faults and mistakes that other people made.